Hey, it's Deborah Atkinson here in the bright sunshine. I'm the author of You Still Got It Girl and most recently, Hot Not Bothered. It's full of 99 flips so that you can boost your metabolism, master it, in fact, before, during, or long after menopause. And that's available on Amazon right now. You can also find it on flipping50.com, but that's not why I'm here. And I'm gonna back out of the bright sunshine as much as I love it and get right over here with my Nutribullet RX because this is a dangerous time of year. For any of us who are trying to kind of watch things and watch what we put in our mouth so that we feel better and feel highly energetic, it's easy to choose when it's just you, right? It's a little bit harder to choose when you're headed to a party. So here's one of the ways that you've heard many times before, bring some food. And one of the things I just suggested to a client earlier today was bring a tray of raw crudettes. The raw vegetables, make them, put them in an arrangement so it looks like a Christmas tree if that's your jam or just on a plate that you purchase from the store if that's more your style. But the thing is, what do you bring them with? So this time of year, kind of a rich dip, but all too often it's got something in it that you don't want may have dairy in it that's not gonna cause you the best of times later in the day or in the evening. So hummus is widely accepted as a rich, creamy, still high in fat and still tastes delectable and maybe a little bit naughty, but it's still amazing for you. So I'm gonna make a homemade batch right now. What I'm gonna do is add about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice, and you could do it from a bought lemon juice, but I'm squeezing fresh lemon. So as much as possible, I'm gonna go that route, but you'll find that I'm not roasting my own garlic. So <laughs> there is a shortcut in here. And I'm just gonna try to get all of this out and make sure I'm squeezing it and getting as much as possible. So I love lemon and the uh, little tang and the brightness that it brings to something. This is so easy to whip up. So really, if you make this the morning of a party, let it blend and kind of marinate all day, you're gonna get some great flavor. So I'm just squeezing out the last little bit of juice. One of those instances where the juice is worth the squeeze. We're gonna to wanna to add a little water eventually, but right now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil, so there's one. Let's just call that one. Here's two. And if we decide we want things to be just a little less thick, thin it out, we're gonna add water as opposed to adding something else. I have already rinsed and drained my garbanzos, so I'm adding a can, and I have organic, so I do think it matters. I'm gonna add a little garlic, and I like to go a little heavy on the garlic. So this is my cheat, and I'm adding about one to two garlic cloves, and then I probably am a little generous on that, all right? So now the secret's out. Cayenne pepper. So you can go a lot of different routes. You can make hummus all on its own. You could add black beans. You could add roasted red um, peppers dry peppers, but I'm gonna add a little cayenne and give this just a little bite. Now, I don't need a lot of cayenne, okay? Nobody does, but I'm gonna add enough to give us a little shake. What I am gonna add a little bit more of is cumin. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of cumin in here. Sorry, you're getting a little flash of light. So I'm gonna back here in the shade, just the sunlight in the late afternoon. In the winter time, we don't wanna turn that off, right? So I'm gonna add this here and a little extra boost. So if you like a little Mexican flavor, you're gonna love this. So cumin, the cayenne pepper, not too much of a bite. And so if you've got young ones who are gonna be going for this, you might wanna warn them ahead of time. And then a little bit of salt, and I'm just gonna measure that so we don't get too much. So I like sea salt. I ordinarily would use Himalayan salt if I had it. I just don't have it on hand. And then you want tahini. So also I've gone organic with that. So I'm gonna add one to three tablespoons of tahini. I'm gonna go a little bit thicker with that. You wanna make sure you stir that up. And then once you open it, 
you're gonna store that in the refrigerator if you haven't used tahini before. It's great for making salad dressings. If you're trying to avoid using dairy, you can make some great ranch dressings or southwestern salad dressings that go great with taco salads, whether you're doing chicken or beef or bison as the meat. So I think we're good here. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water. So I'm gonna take three of these spoonfuls for now. I may go a little bit greater than that. And in fact, I'm going to. I've made this before and once it sets, it gets a little bit thinner. And I've got so much tahini on my spoon here, I'm not truly getting a full spoonful. So I'm gonna leave that. We can always add a little bit more water if we feel like, ah, oh, it's not quite where we want it to be. So I'm gonna rock and roll with that. I'm gonna put this on the high speed here. And if I were making soup, I would definitely give this a boost, but I'm not gonna to need to do that right now. So we're plugged in, we're ready to go. the blending is all done. I just kind of want to get a handle on how we doing with taste and with thickness. Super, super thick. And I'm going to add a little bit more water, I can tell you that, but I want to try this out here. Tasting good. All right. And you have to know that the flavors are going to kind of mesh together a little bit as it sits in the refrigerator for a few hours. So you could eat it right away at room temp and it would be fine. But this is like soup and a lot of main course dishes that you're gonna make. They taste so much better after it's all kind of melded together and so yummy. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna pump this up. So when you're doing something like soup, and I'm going to show you a fantastic butternut squash soup later, as uh, I get this question a lot, it's like, what do you eat during the course of a day that would really help us? <laughs> now, I have a thickness that's much more doable. So if you had you know, a piece of broccoli or cauliflower and you were dipping it in here, you're going to get that stick to it that will stay there as a dip it's not like a salad dressing but this could definitely sub as a salad dressing if you wanted it to just by thinning it a little bit more with water and the more you thin it out you may want to add a little bit more spice here and there so the one thing i'm catching is i've got the tiniest little bit of cayenne but really what comes out is the cumin 
I might add just a little bit more garlic and it's good to go. So now you've got this rich creamy dip, super simple to make, it took you minutes, but you can walk in the door with something that you can start your meal with and get yourself full on the really good stuff and then focus on the people. Isn't that what it's all about? We worry so much about the food and about blowing it and about the temptation, but if you fill yourself up on the good stuff with some fat, some protein, and some rich vegetables with lots of micronutrients, then you sit down and you can have the taste of the things that really traditionally mean something to you and nurse you. And go for the turkey by all means, because that's the one thing on the table that's not gonna do you any harm. It's gonna do you a ton of good. So let me know what your favorites are. I'm gonna share a couple more dips that you can take that are presentable, rich and creamy, but super simple and nobody has to know. And I'll see you on the flip side.